to be independent as well, you know, economically. Mm. I mean, if, if you looked at the Macron report back in the yes. 1970s, um, it's outstanding. It's absolutely outstanding. Outstanding. And Mr. Macron is one of our top economists. Exactly. And for many years, uh, you know, was uh, the uh, eco the economist to the Secretary of State for Scotland and, mm -hmm. um, you know, had a very senior position in Scottish economic planning. And, uh, yeah. you know, it's a, a man who certainly should be listened to. Well, his report was hidden until 2005. The Labour Party had had it and failed. I'm, I'm, I'm not say. surprised because it, it told a few home truths. Yes. The, the, it basically <laughs> said, Scotland, <laughs> Scotland, you are loaded. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the. If you wanted me to do a precy of the report, I would say the message here is Scotland, you are falling down with money. Yes, yes. Uh, do you know, and there is no need for food said. banks, there is no need for austerity, no, there is no need for starvation, there is no need for unemployment. No, not at all. It can run a better way, Scotty. Come yes. on. You know, you look at Denmark, you look at other countries, yes. the way that they are set out. Um, you know, there's more democracy. We don't have a lot of democracy in Scotland. You can go on about different leaders. Well, they say that we're one of the most democratic countries in the world. They also say that we're the fifth richest, uh, fastest yes. growing economy yes. in the world. And we do send, I think it's £40 billion a year down south to central government. 70, you know? 70, and Is it £70 70 billion? 70. And we get 30 back up. The other 30 back, billion. 28 back up, yes. Yeah, uh, yep, yep. And we, you know, it works out the, the, the army, you know, the Queen, bloody bad. I, I, I know you're in favour of the Queen. Let's go well, very much so. Queen, no, no, but what I would say, if anybody is serious about independence, and I'm talking serious yeah. about independence, in other words, they actually do want it, they need yeah. to chuck any antipathy they've got towards the crown and the monarchy because they are coming with us. Do you know what I mean? So I would say, like, as a Commonwealth country like uh, Canada, you know, you know, that, that's kept to Australia. Can you do me, between. can you do me a big favour? Can you just hold on for a few seconds? I'm just going to take a short break because I want to no hear problem. what you've got to say. Just stay exactly where you are. Lovely. If you've just joined us, folks, you're listening to Scotty McClue. We're live on Nation Radio, the country's top radio station, the big one. And uh, back with you after this. This is Nation Radio. Nation Radio is Glasgow's newest station. And we'd love to connect with you on Facebook. Just search for Nation Radio Scotland and we'll keep you updated with everything that's happening in our city. On your radio and in your newsfeed. We are... Nation Radio. Live across Glasgow and the West, this is Scotty McClue's Nightline on Nation Radio. Call Scotty now on 0141 811 0475. Don't forget the house rules. No offensive language or you'll get a lifetime ban. Absolutely, get yourselves to the telephones as quickly as possible. We're stowed out the door and stop it through, but we can always squeeze in a small one, as the missus never tires of telling me. Rab! Are you still Rab. with us? Oh, it's Ross, sorry, I beg your pardon, it's Ross. I beg your pardon. <laughs> that was my fault, I do apologise. Sorry, Ross. No, I know you, you no, suddenly no, changed no, your no, name. No. No problem, Stevie. <laughs> no, not at all. Thanks very much, Angus. No, no bother at all. <laughs> um, um, so we're talking about independence and, you know, the kind of financials. If you look at the, the kind of food and drink sector we've got, Scotty, it's amazing. Yes. Oh, no, wonderful. The Scotch whisky industry, the whole... I mean, Scotland is the breadbasket of the country. Yes. There's no doubt about by, it, you know. By far, by far. And much as we don't need the oil and you keep telling us that the oil's running out, you know, BP and Shell, I think, have just announced a massive £3 yes. billion pound investment. £3 billion. And you've got to think to yourself, if they're investing £3 billion, how much do these guys want to make? Exactly. You know, there's, plenty, no, there's plenty. No, there's plenty of oil, oh, and that comes into... And it's always interesting. They try to defend it by saying, um, oh, no, this was world supply and demand, but it's funny that the day after the Scottish referendum, the oil crashed. Yeah. 
Do you know what I mean? Oh, there's a wee coincidence, eh? Oh, I never got, oh, don't be so silly, Scotty. Don't be so stupid. You know, it's all that stuff. It's world supply and demand. You go, well, why did it wait till just after the vote till it crashed? You know? Supply and demand changed just the day after we voted. Exactly. Yes. Even looking at like a tourism industry, if you look at Mm -hmm. and Glasgow, the amount of people that visit, you know, both cities, it's amazing. We've got a great culture. You know, we're open to the world. Scotty, and do you know what I would like to see? I would love to see um, Renfrewshire and Ayrshire and Argyle and Butte all redeveloped as tourist resorts, right? I mean, if we were to come out of Europe and we weren't allowed to holiday over there, you know, get for a week to Rothsey again, get to Largs. Never mind all this nonsense about the weather. You'll adapt to that. There's indoor swimming pools. Get to Danoon, get to Gurak. You know, that sort of stuff. And take a week there. Yes. And and, and bring back the Clyde steamers. Yes, there's indoor swimming pool. Danoon's got one, if I remember yeah, right. And there's an outdoor one down in, uh, is it Wheel Gurick. or Gurick Pool? Gurick's got an outdoor pool, a super heated pool. Amazing. Yes, yeah, fantastic. And and I would imagine there's one in Rothsey as well and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, there's no excuses visit for people Scotland, not, you know, visit Scotland, visit Scotland big, big time. <laughs> visit Scotland big time. And we could, I'd love to see the Clyde steamers come back. They don't need to have steam engines. But, you know, um, you know, I mean, let's have some sort of nice leisure. You say, oh, it's lovely. We had a wee sail to Campbellton last night, you know. Scotty, Scotty, the way that we Westminster's behaving with all that, that carry on with the ferry company. And you know, yeah. have you heard about it? Yeah, oh, well, absolutely, of course I have. Ferry, nothing nothing gets past my clue. Nothing gets past my clue. No, it's happening. I'm going to have to dash, Ross. But listen, you take great care of yourself. Yes, and we'll catch up again. Absolutely, dinky do, Lala. Right, there we are. That's our Ross on to the telephones, folks. 01418110475. Scotty McClue's Nightline, live on Nation Radio, just for you, dinky do. Back to the telephones. Who have we got here? The Wizard of the Big Switchboard will sort you out. He will sign for the daft and uh, he will get you on to me, Scotty McClue, as quickly as possible. If you just bear with us, because we are very, 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 very busy tonight, Stan. I duke the door and stab it through. Um, I'm no political animal, as you know, but we are discussing Brexit. We're touching on independence. We're talking about Jonathan. We're talking about anything you want to talk about, actually. Stephen. You can dance through your granny and your auntie, your auntie Fanny, Fanny, up right up across, across the floor. floor when you when get to the get other to side. The other shut side. the blooming shut door. Shut that women, <laughs> shut that women door. Thank you, do, Scotty McClure. Thank you, do, Lala. Are you all right? Lovely to hear you. Ah, uh, thank you, do, Scotty, man. I'm, it's always good to hear you and all, mate. I'm telling you. You know the thing, I'm, Scotty, I'm on this phone right for about 20 minutes trying to get a hold of you. I know, I know. I, 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 I can only apologise. 20 minutes to your show, mate. I know, man, but I can only apologise. We're absolutely stowed out the door and stab it through. So, uh, you know, uh, let's let's get down to brass tacks, as they say. <laughs> <laughs> brass tacks. <laughs> I love all that. You know all that chat, Stevie, that you get people say, no, no, but we're trying to find a level playing field and, um, and the door is still open. You know, all that. And you think, where are you coming from with all this nonsense? The clock is ticking. And I, I, so I've had a friend of mine who's a top journalist. And we were on Scotty McClure's Facebook last week. And we were trying to see what else we could make up. And I was saying things like, well, the flags are up. You know? Oh, and uh, and make sure the drawbridge Sorry, comes up. Me, all your are up. <laughs> so the flags are up. You know what I mean? Yes, absolutely. Keep your drawers up as well. Very important. <laughs> Now then, so that's all the sayings that you get. You know, we want our country back. And you go, why? Where has it been? (laughs) I have never heard so much nonsense talked than I've heard over this Brexit thing. That's why I thought we need to sort it out ourselves live on Scotty McClure's Nightline. Scotty, you know? what's this Brexit all about? Mate, I don't well, really know much about it, man. Well, no, see, see, see if it was me, I would go into my office tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock and put a call through to um, Brussels 
and say, could I speak to your top man, please? It's Scotty McClue from the UK. Uh, the clock has now stopped. We're going to uh, stop all this nonsense and we're going to remain. Cancel Brexit. That's it. Finished. Game over. OK. That's and that's what I would do. And then by 12 o'clock, this country could be back to normal. Well, I, well, it is a bit easy, isn't it? Yes. Why Why would anybody not want to take the easy route, though? Aye. Uh, you know what I mean? And dinky-doo. Right, to the telephones as quickly as possible. 0141811 is the telephone number. Lots to talk about. And um, we're very, very, very busy. Keep your calls coming, because I do want to talk to you. It's just a question. I can only have one of you on at a time, unless we go for a conference call. But I don't think we'll go down that road because we wouldn't know who was speaking. Everybody would be talking and nobody would be listening. <laughs> if you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. Let me check the station clock. Ah, yes, um, we are 11 minutes past 11 o'clock. 11.11, 11, I say, and we have to finish at midnight. Now, we're very, very, very busy, but use every second of this programme because Nation Radio is a 24-hour-a-day, seven-days-a-week radio station. It plays the very, very finest in music, chosen for you by the industry's top professionals. All right? And that's how good Nation Radio is. That's how big we are. That's how much importance we put upon your listening experience. But for a Friday, Saturday and Sunday evening between 10 o'clock sharp and midnight, it's me, Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet and the world's most humble man, live for two hours of superb scintillating information, education and entertainment for the nation. Scotland has got its voice back. Never, ever, ever miss a second of this programme. You miss a second of this programme, you miss a moment of life. And we don't want that. The Wizard of the Big Switchboard is getting you all sorted out he's lining you all up as we speak while we've got a couple of seconds can i appraise you appraise you of uh, what we are talking about tonight i think that the brexit thing's going to uh, play out in a rather ugly way and um, mrs may is going to ask all the politicians to vote on her deal people are talking about crashing out with no deal there is actually no requirement at all to act on what happened two and a half years ago that referendum which is essentially an opinion poll that's the legal standing that it's got that of an opinion poll there is no requirement for the government to act upon it and as far as I can see, as a non-participant observer with zero agenda one way or the other, as far as I can see, um, there is no de facto case to leave the EU. So I don't think we want to risk the future of four countries, 70 million people uh, in this country, and heaven knows how many million abroad, just to satisfy a few hooray Henrys that are maybe looking towards making a few quid out the whole thing before it all dries up. So that kind of idea, but you tell me what you think. I am open to intelligent, informed discussion. 0141 811 is the telephone number. 0141 811 The Wizard of the Big Switchboard, I do hope we haven't melted the um, phone network for Central Scotland again like we did 25 years ago. And uh, they had to come and fix it just because this programme is so popular. Anyway, there it goes, but um, what can we do about that, for goodness sake? Why would we want to do anything about it? Right, back to the telephones. We've had a few Steves and Stephs and Stevens tonight and what have you. Here's another Stephen! Oh, it's myself, come on. It's yourself, it's myself, come on. It's myself, it is I, <laughs> Stephen himself. It is I, the, the, the proper Stephen. I think the everybody's calling Stephen. them. Uh, maybe it's just there is a raft of 
named, you know, Stevens in Scotland. I've noticed that. That's shocking, isn't it? I, I, it is. Really I mean, I think, I, think all, I think they're all, you know, it's just popularity. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, a big shout out to your man, the wizard man. Eh? Come it on, like, my job. It was like there, eh? the wizard has done a wonderful job tonight. He's I doing thought a for a moment. Job. He said to me, I'm like just talking about. No, that, they don't. So. They don't give him recollection. <laughs> 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 they give him no recollection of it at all. They give him no remonstration. <laughs> I'm got what you're talking about. <laughs> Neither have I. <laughs> so what? <laughs> so please, ah, please, our songs, please, our songs. <laughs> well, that's I mean, I was, I was going phone the night and say hello. Is this the Jonathan show? You know. I don't want to upset you by it, but I said no. That, you, you don't know? want to upset me because I didn't want to have to give you a lifetime ban. Oh, we don't want that again. <laughs> but having said that, having said that, I actually think Jonathan is desperately trying to get a message across there. There's a message trying to get out of the bottle, but the genie is in the way. You know what I mean? And, I and I think get your show off you. <laughs> well, I mean, that, think no, about that. No, 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 He's, Go on. he's on, on your advertisements. He's actually on your show. Everybody's talking about him on your show. Yes. You, he's work, you're working your way out the door here. Is he's, that he's what you say? Well, no, what I think we'll do here, actually, that. there was we a guy There that. was a guy accusing me of having him on as a plant. Now, no, uh, for the that. record, he is no plant. I can tell you that because I don't do plants. No. Right? I would, I I would that. spot I that, that right away. But... Uh, now that you say, now that you suggest to me, what I think I might do, if he wants my show, I might take over his lifestyle. And I'll run about in the £300,000 car, and I'll get into the gym at six in the morning and work out. You know what I mean? Well, you see, I've got a car, pound car so just sitting out there. I mean, I can say anything. You know, I, I could talk in here with fancy talk and say, I've got this and I've got that. Yeah, but I you think you actually, have, actually. I, I you always know. have thought you're a bit loaded. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I, I, think you're doing, I think you're doing that Scottish thing. Oh, I know. How much would that be? You know, I can remember this. This is a Scottish <laughs> thing. It was a farmer, and he was saying to me, he was buying a car off me once, right? And he's going, oh, I know, mate. Were you looking for maybe about... Uh, I said, I'm looking for two and a half for the car farmer. And he's going, oh, I, well, no. I was wondering about maybe two, two... I says, no, listen, never two two. I said, it's a, I said, this is a four grand car. And being Scotland on a winter's night, I'm after two and a half now. You're doing very well here. Or you wouldn't be sitting there in your dungarees stroking your chin. He's going, well, what, what about maybe, what about two, three? And it was going on like this all the time. And I thought, this man is loaded. This farm must be worth about five million quid. <laughs> and he's saying to me, what about two, three? I'd be lucky if I've got a chicken at Christmas, you know, and I've made a turkey. <laughs> he was giving all that, I know, a turkey yeah, for right. goodness sake. When did we last see that, you know? <laughs> you know? Oh, absolutely. I've, I've, got, I've got a house full of fussy eaters, you know, so you know what to buy in. Well, know? this is it, nobody knows. But you see, I blame, I blame yourself and the missus for coming up going, uh, now, James, do you want a pizza or you want mince like the rest of us? Or, <laughs> you see, you need to stop that. You've got to say, what's for tea, die? You don't then respond with, what were you wanting? You I respond with, mince. Well. Yeah. Mince. Says that. Yeah. Oh, I don't like mince. Right. Well, okay. Off it. to your room then. Bye bye. <laughs> okay. Who else is for mince? Because I'll tell you, I was in the chip shop one night, Mary Hill, right? And in came a boy, and he was one of these kind of generous boys that had taken all the wains swimming. You could see he'd taken all his own wains and probably another couple of families as well, because there was a whole gang of them. And he's in, right, and he's going to them, right, what you want, Mary, what you want? And she's going, I'll, I'll have a fish supper. And, right, okay, Paul, what about you? I'll have a hamburger. Good, okay, son, so first sort of hamburger. And he goes to this wee guy, the wee, you know, it's always a wee when all grumpy because <laughs> they've no had their own way for the whole night. And he's sitting there and he goes, what about you? What are you wanting? And you could tell that he'd that had a wee altercation before, you know. And the wee guy pulls one of the faces and does a wee bit of attitude. And he goes, right, OK, fair enough, here we go. Chips, 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 hamburger, fish, supper, nothing!
<laughs> my oldest is fine. My wife's fine. She'll pick what she wants. My Aye. oldest is fine. My last year, the oldest, she'll pick what she wants. Neighbor, she won't get a chap shop. The youngest, as you said, as he'll pick straight off. But she's the middle one. He doesn't oh. know what he wants. No. So you don't know whether to put on burn the oven or the grill or the microwave. Oh, he's or, the oh. fastest. What do you want oh. tonight, chicken nuggets? Hold on, you chicken nuggets last night, you know? Absolutely, oh, I chicken nuggets the nuggets the night before. You, you know, can you know he's something different, son, you know? Oh, I don't know. You know, yeah, oh, come so, on, you know. need something different. See, yeah, I used to say to my dad, I used, I used to say to my dad, are you wanting chips? And he'd go, well, one or two, I would say, well, make your mind up. <laughs> <laughs> is it one or is it two? <laughs> you know, I was a fussy eater, but I'll tell you, there's nothing like my lot, I'll tell oh, you. No, 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 well, listen, I see, when I was we, you never did any fuss eating, you just, or you wouldn't have got anything, you know what I mean? Uh, you, got, you just got Everybody with it. go, but they go. If Absolutely. It was tatties, that's where you go. It was Everybody mince and tatties. Tatties. That's what we're having. What's for tea tonight, Mince? That's what you got. That's what you got. The beef olives and all that. Every single Sunday, you know. Absolutely. Yes, a smoked beef or a ham shank. It's up to yourself, you know. That's what's going. The grannies were the best for that. That was the grannies cooking. The grannies were great. That was the grannies cooking. That was the grannies cooking, you know. They were great, yes. And they were the best ones. Mm hmm. No, my my, my granny always, uh, she liked a joint on a Sunday. Mm hmm. Absolutely. Lovely talking to you, and uh, we shall friend. catch up soon. And dinky do. Oh, here. I see your, your picture of your man, by the way. That was brilliant. Oh, do you like my wee mother on Facebook? I did, indeed. And I gave her a, a, gave her a wee like. Aye, she was a nice wee lass. She's a bonny wee thing, actually. She was nice. Black white photos are the best, aren't they? Oh, the black and white photos are great. You know, that's. Uh, that, you see, I actually. A colour photo of me is black and white. <laughs> <laughs> that's my best pictures as well, black and white. <laughs> People think he's looking a wee bit grey. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you, Stevie. Ta la la. <laughs> Ta la la. Right, to the telephones as quickly as possible, folks. We're very, very busy tonight. Lots to talk about. 0141811 We're talking about. Brexit, we're talking about Scottish independence, we're talking about Jonathan, we're talking about what you've had for your tea, we're talking about everything. Grab a telephone, 01418110475, and speak to me, Scotty McClue, live on Nation Radio, 96.3 in the FM, just for you, Dinky Doo. Welcome to Glasgow's newest radio station. We're Nation Radio, and this is what we do. We play the finest music, old and new, to keep your feet tapping whenever you tune in. We've got your favourite presenters to keep you entertained all day and all night. Plus, we've got the news, weather, traffic and sports information so that you'll always know what's happening across Glasgow and the West. And did we mention the music? Glasgow's newest station is Nation Radio. This, this is Scotty McClue's Nightline. Have your say. Have your say. Call 0141 811 0475. Nation Radio. Nation Radio, you're listening to Scotty McClure with Scotty McClure's Nightline. Off to the telephones. John. How you doing, Scotty? Oh, my goodness, I rushed off my feet tonight. I know. And just about that guy, that uh, uh, guy you're talking about, uh, what's his name? Uh, Which one? The, 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 the one that was on talking about his car and all that. Oh, Jonathan. Yes. Oh, he's, a, he's a sandwich. Tell you that, you know. He's, he's a character, isn't he? Oh, I see. He's a character, Scotty. I did have to pull him <laughs> up, though, about his um, terminology towards the Scottish people. We're I not mean, having that. Do you know what I mean? So he had to get pulled up. To, but he took it on the chin, I have to say. But I think he's needing a lifetime ban, Scotty. I think he's needing a lifetime ban after you. The only thing is, if we do that, that makes this programme out. It compromises the programme. I mean, I'm all very well to have him standing in the corner at some point, but it compromises my programme because it means he won't take everyone's opinion. And just because we dis... I mean, this is why one of the things where the programme is so good 
right? Because we take everyone's opinion and then we discuss it. Do you see what I mean? So, uh, you know, the fact that we've got a phone in, if it was just a, a solid programme and I was interviewing Jonathan and then I said, Jonathan, thanks for uh, coming on the show, good night, and nobody had a chance to stick their tuppence worth in, that wouldn't be right. I wouldn't be comfortable with that. But I'm quite comfortable that we have a phone in here and that if we disagree with anything, and it says, because there'll be a lot of people listening, right? who are thinking, see that, Jonathan, he's very, very clever. He's absolutely spot on. I agree with him. There'll be people doing that. And that's what we forget. You know, that's what we forget in this country. But Mike, want a leader station and brag about it? Well, well that's yes now that is an interesting phenomenon but that's what he feels he has to do because he's telling nigh on two million people what he's got and he's saying he's got all these houses and all that and different places yes Yes, well, that, well, he was that. He was the only reason I got that out of him because when we were talking about Brexit, he was more or less implying that Brexit would make no difference to him because he could go and live in France or he could go and live in Spain or I think he's got a place in America as well. So but, you know but, what I mean. But, it can only be one place at one time, Scotty, that's the thing. You know I mean? Of course, as my late father, who's a lovely, lovely man, used to say, you can only wear one <laughs> suit. Oh, are you I all right there, La? Are you okay? Yes, you can. But nevertheless, if things get too hot with this Brexit and this country falls apart and goes back to the 1920s, then Jonathan can just leg it. He can do one. <laughs> but but is, is, he on, is he on every Friday and Saturday, Scott? Or is he just on every Sunday when he's off work? He comes, I don't know, he comes on when it suits him. Uh, I think he's a big fan of the phone-in. <laughs> and he likes to say his piece. But who isn't a big fan of Scotty McClure, man? Know what I mean? Well, if you're not a fan of Scotty McClure, I mean, you know, what on earth are you doing in the earth? I was in a taxi, right? I was in a taxi on <clears throat> Saturday night, right? Mm -hmm. right? And the last he said to me, Scotty was the on last Sunday. I don't know why you were the on last Sunday, Scotty, because... I was on, I was on last Sunday and I was on Monday, but I wasn't on Friday and Saturday last week because of the seasonal holidays. No, no, the Sunday. No, you weren't on last I, Sunday. I was definitely on last Sunday. Because I turned in and it was me. And the last. No, week, wait. I, I think I think actually we had a wee technical challenge last Sunday. Aye. Because I turned in and. I, I was I was definitely on, but we we uh, we went on to music. I know, I know, I heard that, Scotty, I know. Yeah, I, I that, that, that. that was all. Right. That was all. It was just a, what we, what we call a wee technical hiccup. Aye, <laughs> Scotty, aye. <laughs> So, so, but I mean, you can't, you can't have. I mean, a radio station the size of Nation Radio. I mean, this is a massive, massive yeah. radio station. Uh, you know, I mean, the number of people that can listen to Nation Radio is just vast, and Scotland's not seen anything like it since, um, since Scott FM. You know. <coughs> oh, you're all right, my but listen, you need to go and get that chest sorted. I'm going to let you go, but we'll. But Jonathan needs to buck up his ideas, man. Know what I mean, Scotty? Yeah. Well, we'll need to tell him that. This is this is where, as I say, it's excellent. It's a phone in because we need Jonathan to know that. So, you know, if he's listening, which I bet he is, then you know you could tell him what would you like to say to him without being rude. But, but, uh, 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 but how does how does he get fuel for his car if it's a five thousand pound car? How does he manage? It's not a five thousand. It's a three. It's a three hundred thousand pound car. Uh, no, 300,000 pound car. 300,000 pound car? Yes, but it'll be absolute it, top of the range. But how does he manage to fill it up every day with petrol and fuel and... Well, he's got plenty of money. He's the man's <laughs> falling down with money. If there's one thing Jonathan's got, it's money. So he's, he's, you know, that's not a problem. I mean, his car, if it's the car I'm thinking of, it'll have maybe a 6.7 or a 7 litre engine. Oh my so it probably God. does about 10 to the gallon. You know what I mean? Aye. 
but he's not bothered about that because you only live for a certain time and you can't take it with you, you know what I mean? I, 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 maybe the sun shines at his, at his backside, you know what I mean? You never know where the sun shines from as long as it shines. Listen, you take care of yourself. And as long as it shines, dinky do. The sun is always shining on Nation Radio and on Scotty McClue's Nightline. Fantastic. To the telephones as quickly as possible. We're very, very busy tonight and I want to hear what you have got to say. Uh, telephone number 0141 811 0475. Please, 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 I beg of you, stick that into your telephones because you will want to discuss. Off to the telephones. We're speaking to Kevin. Dinky do. Dinky do, Scotty. How are you? Very well, sir. Better for hearing you. Fantastic. That's what I like to hear. Dinky do. You're number one. You're Dinky on the do. telephone. You're on Scotland's biggest station. Scotty McClure. This Scott's is Scotty McClure. Dinky Scott's do. McClure's nightline. Dinky do. Absolutely. And everybody's listening. Dinky do to you too, Scotty. That's I want to Dinky talk about Jonathan. Yes, go on, Kevin. Yes, Jonathan. I've got a car that's worth £301,000. So people oh. have only got cars that are, I, people have got cars that are only worth £300,000. They should be forced oh. They should be forced to tight for the rest of their life. Yes. Would you yes, not agree with that? Absolutely. Oh, that's yes. a fantastic one, Kevin. Yes. Yes, and, and if they've got people. Hello. Hello. Hello, you still there, Scotty? Of course I'm I, here, I yes. Was another, I thought that was another one of these technical glitches. Hey, you know, no, no, we only, we only had one... We've, we've only had one technical glitch in three months. Oh, come on, I've been looking at your show since it started. You've, you've been getting them every day, mate. <laughs> no, away you go. You're not playing that. Now, listen, Scotty, tell me this. <laughs> It's lovely to talk to you, buddy. Absolutely. Right. Now, tell me this. Um, what mm -hmm. can I do for you? Uh, Are you enjoying the show? I, I'm actually loving the show, mate. See, here, see, see by the way, uh, see, see your boy, Jonathan. I just think that's your only bit. How would you say you're uh, kind of chink in the army because... Uh, it, you're Achilles' heel. Uh, I well, see, see, see that. See, see the thing about... Jonathan, Jonathan is my <laughs> Achilles' heel. Aye, because, I mean, you're letting him on at the time. He's, he's starting to offend folk, mate. It's, 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 it's no use. No, no, I mean, no, 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 no. I, I pulled him up so that he won't offend anybody. I mean, they were very, very strong on that. I won't have that. And he had to apologise and give him his due. He he back he backtracked, he withdrew the remark, and he apologised. He should, shouldn't have said it in so, the first place that way. Anybody need to backtrack. No, he shouldn't have said it. He shouldn't have said it, but, but he did say it, and then he apologised. You know, uh, and, uh, uh, and uh, I, I apologise uh, to the nation for, for, for the fact that he hadn't quite understood what was going on, you know, and he backed, he backed off. But uh, he, was, he was trying to make a point, and sometimes you can't make an omelette without breaking a few eggs, you know what I mean? But he, he I mean, the point, the point that he was making, the point that he was making, let's be honest about it, between you and I, it's not very palatable to the Scottish people to be told they're lazy. Well, some people are lazy. See, I mean, nobody, are nobody lazy. likes being told that. Do you know what I mean? But, but here's the thing, I mean, if I were to say all people of a certain ethnic origin were, were lazy, I, I, I would be shut Yes, but a, that's a, a different... That, no, no, that's, a, that's a different thing because that's you qualifying of a certain ethnic origin. What he's saying is that his own country people... Right, could do with so getting the okay. finger out a bit. Scott, does that make it's okay not a question. It's not a question of making it okay. He's just, you see, if you're one of the, if you're the politically correct police, right, then you know I'm this not one is a road. No, but, but that, that's what you're pulling him up on. You're, 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 you're not pulling him up on his point. You're pulling him up on the fact that he maybe uh, wasn't being 100% politically correct. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Right. See the thing about you. I mean, we don't, we don't have anything on here about race, creed, colour, anything like that, because I would never, ever stand for it. But I can right, put right. up with a Scotsman telling other Scottish people, right, that he feels we can't be independent because blah, blah, blah. 
right? And I think if we're going to have a programme of this calibre, we do have to be able to discuss things. We can't say, oh, he stuck his tongue out at me. Do you know what I mean? We've got we've got to yeah. actually say, are we going to have everyone on or are we just going to have on people that we know are 100% safe? Because if that was the case, then we might as well be working for another public service broadcaster. You're giving the guy too much oxygen to publicity. I mean, he's, he's a troll. See if he was on a message board or on Twitter or Facebook or something like that. Uh -huh. it just but I'm not giving, as, I'm as not a giving him anything apart yeah, from his right to speak. You're giving the guy speak. a platform. You're giving the guy well, a I'm platform. Giving him, I'm, giving him, I'm giving him his right to speak in the same as I'm giving you. I mean, what if somebody calls me up next and says, Scotty, that guy you've just had on there, what are you doing letting him on? He had got nothing to say. Well, he was just spending time attacking. He was just spending time attacking another caller. Come on, Scotty. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's that it kind of thing. They deserve to be ridiculed. They deserve to be laughed out of the park, man. Can we just kick in, on? In, he, in, he, your, in your opinion, he did apologise for what he'd said. I don't even believe he's got a business. I don't even believe he's got half the things that he says he's got. Well, why mean, would he say? Why probably, would he say? I mean, if. Era, come on. Right, well, that'd be lovely, but we're not going to go into different brands of cars. I mean, why would he say, if he's coming on here, right, and, um, you know, he's telling me that, I I have to take that at face value, of because have, that's I mean, the point he's making. So I'm not going to go questioning every single one of my callers. So if you come on and say your name's Fred, I'm not going to say... Hang on, I think I'll cut you off because I don't believe your name is Fred. I heard your wife there shouting, Will, Will it? No, I know, not you, but shouting, Willie, you want a cup of tea just before you came on there? Do you know what I mean? That kind of stuff, that would reduce uh, the most wonderful program in the country um, to just a bit of a slagging. And we don't do that. Yeah. Seriously, We're looking for yeah. valid, valid points. And what he was saying is, look, I am an entrepreneurial businessman. I am worth X type of money. He didn't even mention any figures. I drive a car because I've worked hard for it. I'm self-made. And I feel that other Scottish people need to follow. I mean, I'm, I, I That's right. Well, you see, you should, be, well, you should be standing up for him then. Say, Scotty, can uh, I just support Jonathan on behalf of all self-made people? You know, I well... Would, I would, I'd force feed him to the taxi driver. I'm sure he's got a few things he'd, he'd love to date him the right now. Pass him up the taxi driver and, and say, what's what? You see, uh, but I, I mean, I can't, what I can't do is, is let the callers suddenly decide that we don't want anyone else's opinion apart from our own. Right, I mean, everybody's entitled to their opinion, but I mean... You see, now you've said a very sensible thing. You've added, you've just shot up in the nation's estimation. Because you've said I everyone's been, entitled exactly to the their opinion. I, I don't believe. I, I wasn't exactly... The nation, the nation, no, no, but you were getting down because you were taking up well, a lot of your that? time to slag off. Why was that? I don't know. I, only you know that. Why was that? Come on. Come why, come why, on are you, why, why are you getting annoyed with one of the I'm callers? I'm getting annoyed at all. I'm, I'm sitting here with a big grin on my face. Right. Well, you're a very lucky man because the rest of us are getting annoyed. Are you know? you're getting annoyed about but you've, but what you've done there, you've suddenly shot up in the nation's estimation because you've said everyone's entitled to their opinion. And that's the crux of the programme. No, even if you disagree with it. Uh, exactly. You disagree with it, so it might not be rubbish, but you disagree with it. If I said to you, here's the difference, right? If I said to you, Winston Churchill was an excellent Prime Minister, am I right or am I wrong? Is that fact or opinion? It's opinion. It's opinion. If I said to you, Winston yes. Churchill is dead, is that fact or opinion? No, that's fact. That's fact, right? Now, yeah. somebody then might ring me and say, Scotty, Winston Churchill was far from an excellent Prime Minister. And let me tell you why. Now, I don't then turn to them and go, oh, hey, your opinion's rubbish. Right? I don't tell them that I listen to what they've got to say. And then what I might then say is, oh, hey, your opinion's rubbish. Do you see what I mean? Right. 
Here's the thing, right? See, that's Jonathan character. Right. I mean, for somebody that wants Jonathan banned, you've taken a whole call up talking about him. I, I, don't, I don't really a want to uh, 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 Scotty, actually, the right rewind, if I, if I said at any point you want him banned, I don't, uh, if you were to listen to my call again, I don't think at any point uh, I've, I've actually said I want him banned. I'm right. just saying, like, uh, basically, he's, he's a chink in your armour, he's starting to ruin your show. I mean, ob obviously, if, if he has a plan, which somebody did suggest... No, he's not a plan, I can tell you that, and I, and I mean, I, 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 take, I would take you're, extreme umbrage. I would take extreme umbrage to any implication. But that's just because all I'm doing, but that's because you're using a lot of time and energy attacking him. And I'm just saying, does he deserve all that, uh, you know, opprobrium? Well, or, or, you know, was he making, was he making, was he making a valid point? See, see all the poor misfortunate folk that this this guy seems to get a wee bit of a perverse kick out of rubbish and all the time. Right. Do they deserve it? Do they deserve no. it? Can come on answer me that? No. I've answered you. Right. right. Of course they don't. Right. That's why he got pulled up. That's why he had to apologise. That's why he had right. to withdraw the remark. Because I look after the people. That's my right, job. It was probably the remark, and they'll do something, uh, something much the same that a couple of days' time, or next time you're on, probably. What right, but speak? you... I mean, yeah, but you, you it, need to not obsess about this guy, you know? I mean, I I'm would have rather... I'm about this guy, I'm, Well, I I'm, think, I'm, yeah, I'm, you I'm, see, I would, I would have rather you came on and discuss something else, you know? Like what, Brexit? You, you anything. Know, no, Brexit. anything, anything at all. We discuss everything on here. We only mention Brexit because it's actually getting a bit hot now. And we might even end up leaving the EU if we're not careful. Well, that's what people voted for. No, not people. I, some people voted for it. Yes. Yeah, Seven, 17 million. 17 yeah. million out of 70 million. Is that is that the will of the people? Well, I don't think so. People that, just, that, that, that they could actually be bothered to vote. Exactly. The ones that could exactly. be bothered to vote. But, so, but so in the will of the people, people, it was it was never put out as the ultimate uh, act of democracy. It was put out there as an opinion poll. Do you want to leave the EU or do you not? Then when they collated that back at government, they should have said, nah, there's, there's nothing really that would change our mind. There's nothing to take us out so of the, the EU there. So therefore the people should be overthrown. No, it's not overthrowing the people. And what I'm saying is 17 million out of 70 million thought they'd put down leave on Duff Gen. They were told, yes, they and, were told and, and, and that there'd be 325 billion quid stuck in the NHS, didn't they? On the side of a bus. Uh, Sorry, 325 million a week, was it? Right, how, how many lives were, were spoken about at the time of the Scottish record, uh, Scottish... Uh, but well, it depends. It depends what side you were looking at. Actually, I mean, I can certainly. I mean, there's, there's, there's lies and uh, there was certainly there was certainly there's lies and damned lies, and there was certainly a few floating about at that. Yes. So what yes. we could say, if we were being harsh, is that our two attempts at so-called democracy have so far been a fail. We could say that, couldn't we? But the people have got exactly what they want in both occasions. But they haven't, well, the you see, that's it. If the vote. people had what they the wanted, people, nobody would be arguing. The people that could be bothered to vote have got what they, have got, got what they wanted. The people that wanted out of the European Union uh, yes. are going to be getting out of the European Union. Yes, but the, then, not, not then be the, the other, yeah, yeah but then, ride, but it might be a very bumpy ride, but then the other thing that comes up is, hold on a minute, the government don't need to be acting on this at all. So the there certainly like should be no that. clock ticking. Because if but what will happen if if the government decides they're not going to act upon it at that certain date, and I think it's March 2019, if, if, if that doesn't happen, the government will be in turmoil, and you probably find... Well, the government's in turmoil at the moment. Have a look at them this week, and you'll see a bit of turmoil. You know, exactly. and the thing is, the thing is, I can tell you right now, on the 29th of March, or whatever date they've set aside, right, and I, I, I personally think they should change that to the 1st of April, provided we leave before 12 o'clock, because 
because nothing will actually happen. It'll take about 10 years to unpick the tapestry that is the relationship between the United Kingdom and Europe. You know what's going to happen after, uh, after this happens, Scotty? Uh, what's going to happen is that it's, it's going to be the first of many countries deciding the European Union uh, and its current incarnation well, is not I'm, a good idea. I, 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 I'm, gl I, I'm, glad, I'm glad that you know so much more about this than the rest of us. I am glad you know so much more about this than the rest of us. Listen, I'm going to have to dash, but this will be continued. You and I are not finished. Lovely talking to you, Paul. You're a good man. Always lovely talking to you. Dinky do. Right, to your telephones, folks, as quickly as possible. 01418 110 You're listening to Scotty McClue. We're live on Nation Radio just for you. Dinky do. Nation Radio's More Music Drive Time is all about one thing playing Scotland's finest music while you get from A to B. I'm Brian Wilson, and whether you're heading home from the office, on the school run, or clocking up the miles on the motorway, I'll have the music to keep a smile on your face, whatever the roads are looking like. Plus, with news, weather and traffic every 30 minutes, we'll keep you in touch with everything that's going on across Glasgow and the West. Brian Wilson, more music drive time. Scotty McClue's Nightline. 96.3 Nation Radio. Call Scotty now. 0141 811 0475. Nation, Nation Radio. Hi, you're listening to Scotty McClure's Nightline. We're live on Nation Radio. The phone-in, of course, uh, very, very popular, as you would expect. The country's top radio station, the country's top talk show. Uh, we're discussing so many things tonight. We're touching, I'm no political animal, as you well know, but we're touching on Brexit. We're touching on independence. We're touching on, um, for some strange reason, Jonathan, the caller that phoned earlier. People are getting a bit obsessed with him. Um, I'm going to speak to Anna. Anna, good evening, my darling. Hello, Scotty. Good evening again. Good evening. And dinky do. It's lovely to hear you. Uh, thank you. It's yes. lovely to hear you. And and I just had to, you know, because I'm sitting here usual with my chamomile tea. Wonderful. And I thought I must phone him. You must. And you're, you're, you're your show just gets better every time, Scotty. And you're talking about President Scott, you know, uh, Scotland. And I said it once before to you, you should be leaving Scotland because you I trust. And I know that you could do an awful lot better than what is running us at the moment. I said that to you before. Well, I'm, 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 I feel even more humble than usual, Anna, because, uh, but uh, I, I have to say, I'm not really a political animal, but I do know right from wrong. I know that. Do you know, and, and I like to level with the people. I find it a bit strange when you see sort of a political setup. What, what do you think we should tell the people? And you think, well, tell the people everything. I mean, apart from if it's anything that threatens the security of the country or is a military secret or anything like that, obviously you don't uh, come out with that stuff because that's what you call classified. But from yes. a political point of view, tell the people the truth. Tell the truth, and that's what you do. You know? You do And that it's, it's funny how do. people have got a sort of fear of the truth. That's it. No, I, I firmly believe in everything you say. And I thought, God, we could do with someone like that to, to, to help us and to help Scotland. Well, I would love, I would love to see Scotland, um, you know, really rebuilding its economy and saying uh, to Westminster, look, guys, you know, we love your... Um, your Barnet formula and we love you taking money off us and asset stripping us and all that but at the end of the day we do need to get on with our business so we'll be hanging on to the 70 billion 
I think, as a gentleman said, we send them and they send us 28 right. back. So we'll be hanging on to the 70 billion for this year to rebuild our economy so that we've not got people on food banks, so that our children are not starving, exactly. um, so that we can establish some businesses and we'll be trading with Europe ourselves and keeping all our receipts. Well, um, well, and, you know, that sort of thing. That you could speak for us. Not, not any more than um, than I'm doing. So on the phone in. I know because unfortunately, I mean, I'm well. You know, I'm sort of on my own, and I don't. You know, I couldn't do that on my own. But I thought, God, if Scotty could speak for us, that 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 you know, speak for us to, about these things. The voice of the nation. The only problem is, Anna, once we decided what you wanted me to say, somebody would no doubt come on and go, just to let you know you don't speak for me. <laughs> oh, well, you you're always going to get a bit of that, aren't you? <laughs> You'll always get that. And the same with the people who are talking about Jonathan. Yes. Now, now, now you uh, know, tell me what you think, Anna, because I'm very, very interested in your opinion. I'll tell you what I think of Jonathan. I think Jonathan is a poor soul. I think it's, um I don't believe everything he tells us. I think mm -hmm. it's someone who's on his own and is in a, living in a Walter Mitty land. Uh -huh. I want people to think that he's a wonderful millionaire and everything. I think he's a very lonely guy and trying to make a name for himself on your show. So it's right. to talk about him. But I see no reason, Anna, not to take his call, provided he watches his terminology. Exactly. Oh, no, you must, because this you is know? what you do, Scotty. You listen to people, um, you know, and you think, I think, my God, he's so compassionate. You know, with, with people, because they live for you coming on at the weekends. You, you have that compassion, which is wonderful. But I think that Jonathan is a poor soul. And I don't... Right. I honestly don't believe he has all these things he says he has. He says, yes. Anna, it has been an absolute joy talking to you as always. I'm going to have to dash because I want I to know. get some more opinion. But you and on, I will speak again soon, my love. On you go, darling, and I'll speak to you soon. Take great care of you. You're a very special lady and a very precious lady. And I say to you, have a lovely week and dinky-doo. And you, Scotty. God bless. God bless you, my darling. There we are. That's our Anna, a super lady. 01418110475. Let's get as many of you on as possible before the bewitching hour, before the bar shuts, before the shutters come down, before the big bosses, the big bosses, have decreed we have to go. Aaron. How are you doing, Scotty? Ah, oh, fine, China. Dinky do to you. Dinky do to you. Hold on, I'll take a shot. No, I'm only kidding. I'm not going to take a shot of whiskey this time. I'm only kidding you on. Listen, oh, you sure I've got, yes. I've got a wee. I've got a wee. Uh, a wee well, you don't have to tell us about. Oh, I see. You thought you were going to tell us about your private life there. Yes. No, no, Go no, on, no, Aaron. No. Yes. I've got a wee point about Jonathan, right? Yes. Now, with Jonathan, I can see his point that he tried to make earlier on. Mm -hmm. I can see his point, but I just think that obviously, I, th I think a few things that he said, as you pointed out, was a wee bit inappropriate. And I think he's turned half the nation against him by that. Uh -huh. Do you know what I mean? So he's got to rehabilitate himself if he's coming on. That's it. And I think I think with Jonathan, I think his point that he was trying to make was good. But I think instead of trying to be encouraging, I think he delivered it wrong. And he was mm -hmm. he kinda delivered it in an, a discouraging way. Do you know what I mean? I understand what you say. And that turned people against him. Put 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 him on the back foot. It's yep. put him on the back foot, but you, you can kind of see his point now. Putting aside the point that he's got a three hundred thousand pound car or whatever mm -hmm. you want to say, that'll be uh, an absolute beast of a car. That that'll have a, a seven liter engine or something like that, you know. Well, I can I can imagine that he's spending a lot of money on that Scotty. Hmm. Even filling it up. Uh, 
He'll be filling it up constantly. That, I'm, yes. I'm already filling my car up twice a week, and that's that's not. That's, a, that's a two litre. <laughs> exactly, that, that's a two litre. I don't even listen, Scotty. I don't even think it's a two litre. Do you know what I mean? It's a fifteen hundred. A fifteen hundred. I think it's it's a moped by the sounds of it. But a moped, uh, a moped. Aaron, lovely to talk to you. I'm going to press on, but thank you for that point. Much appreciated, and dinky do, sir. Thank you very much, Scotty. Dinky do. Okay, dinky do, la. Ta -da -da. To your telephones, folks, as quickly as possible. Oh one four one eight double one oh four seven five. You're listening to Scotty McClue's Nightline. We're live on Nation Radio. That's the big one. Gordon. Hello, sir. A week Hello, sir. for you. Yes. If Burns is living now, do you think it would be for the nation, for the nationalist, or an independent nation, or for the union? Ah. Now, this is very interesting because if you know your Burns and you look at what was happening in Dumfries when Burns was alive, what yes. had you just got? You had revolution going on at the time in France. And um, Burns, of course, as you know, ran with officialdom as well. He was a, a, an excise officer. He and was a farmer, and his two sons were in the army, and there were big battles in Dumfries between the radicals and the um, the, uh, the the sort of establishment, the Tories. So we have a unionist at the moment. Well, do you think, you see, this is it, this is what would be interesting, but remember, Burns was also around when the Union was at its strongest. The Union did, when it happened, stop the famine in Scotland. It stopped people just falling down dead in the streets from starvation because the nobles right. had been fighting. So Burns might have actually thought he didn't like the kind of <coughs> high office of state, you know, the belted knights and, and all yes. that kind of stuff. He wasn't in for all that. Uh, he was very much for that. the common man. But I think, I'm just wondering if he would have been a supporter of the union. It's a very, very interesting question. Yes. Another thing I want to ask you, just get hold of you. A man I was a hero, you must like him a lot too. Grierson, mine had done all the documentaries. Yes, John Grierson, yes. Yes. This is the nightmare crossing the border. Yes. W.H. Auden's poem, yes. Wonderful, yes. climbing up Beatuck, and he used to do all the Flying Scotsman and all that kind of stuff. Correct. That's how I was John Grierson. Wonderful so documentary you, maker. Okay, lovely. Sir. Thanks, Gordon. Yeah. Lovely to hear you. And Dinky do, sir. And you, sir. Good night and God bless you. <coughs> uh, pardon me. To your telephones, folks, 01418110475. You've got uh, Scotty McClure's Nightline. We are running very, very tight for time. But if you want to make a quick call, then uh, I would do it now. And uh, let's have a wee chit-chat just before the shutters come down, before the bar shuts. But having said that, keep it here, keep it clear. Here, keep it Nation Radio just for you, Dinky Do, because 24 hours a day, seven days a week, we will play you the most fantastic music chosen by the country's top professionals. This is the radio station for Scotland. This is the big one. This is the one everyone's talking about. This is the one everyone's listening to. And of course, on a Friday night, a Saturday night and a Sunday night. You've got Scotty McClue's Nightline, so I shall be live with you. Uh, get the number programmed into your telephones, of course. Tell everybody about this programme. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue on Nation Radio just for you. 96.3 in the FM or www.nationradio.scot. Always have that with us. And then, don't be afraid to shout out to your smart speakers, your Amazon Echo. Alexa, play Nation Radio Scotland. All right? Very, very important, that. <laughs> very, very important. Now, um, the other thing, can I steer you towards our social media, our Facebook page, which is Nation Radio Scotland. Please go on that right now, if you've got access to Facebook, put in Nation Radio Scotland and click like. Please go on to uh, Scotty McClue's Facebook page and follow me and click like. You'll see we do a live pop-up show. And um, also get yourselves on to Twitter, at Nation Scotland. Follow us there on Twitter and also follow Scotty McClue on Twitter, at Scotty McClue. 
Right, having said that, what can I say? Friday, Saturday, Sunday, outstanding shows. And I've done a lot of outstanding shows. These have been the most outstanding due to you lot, the good burgers of central Scotland. From me, Scotty McClure, on behalf of all of us here at Nation Radio, I wish you a fabulous week. Good night, God bless, dinky do, and ta-ra, lads! Scotty McClure's Nightline returns Friday night from 10 on Nation Radio. Keep in touch with us on Facebook. Just search for Nation Radio Scotland and hit like. Nation Radio. Welcome to Glasgow's newest radio station. We're Nation Radio and this